So for today, Titans, it's your turn. We're going to be looking at the Tekken Regalia pieces. Now, like I said in the Hunter video, before you comment, actually, actually, this is the unyielding favor. I know, I know, but in game, it's called Tekken's Regalia right now which is why I'm saying this. I'm not going to be like, actually this, I don't care if it's in game. I'm going to call it what it's called in game. Okay. So don't comment. Actually, it's called the, I, I know, I know it's a bug until Bungie fixes it. I'm going to keep continuing calling this, uh, Tekken Regalia because that's what it's called in game. So, and in this, if, if you're coming from the future, um, my explanations should still suffice. So I don't know what to tell you. Um, eat my ass. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it. You don't have to eat my ass. I'm just kidding. But so we're going to be looking at the pieces for the Titans, Warlocks. Don't worry, you guys have your video coming up too. And after that, we have a bunch of videos. I do go through it over the Hunter video, but I do have a lot of content coming out this week, like a lot of armor set pieces that I've been working on, the new raid armor pieces as well. I already reviewed the new raid armor. It's right here if you guys want to check it out and just a lot of stuff. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet. Now, unfortunately, like I said in the Tekken Regalia review video, a lot of these pieces have a lot of blue gemstones. I didn't cover that on the Hunter one because the Hunters, quite frankly, don't have a lot of gemstones, but the Titans really, really do. And you guys will see it with the helmet. You guys have three crystals on each side of the face. It's blue, which is why I went with a pure white look because I didn't want to fight the blue crystals. For everything but the chest piece, we're using Gift of the Nine. The chess piece we're using bitter pearl because unfortunately gift of the nine actually turns the fur black and i wanted white fur to go with the ursa maritimus uh, ornament for the ursa furiosas for the chess piece lichen robe or red lichen plate i should say really cool really like this again combining the fur with the arms and the boots because the wolf kiss griefs also have white fur as well and then the desolation diver mark was an easy choice just because I don't want a small mark for this one because the Wolf Kiss Greaves has very little uh, coverage on the thighs. So I wanted some mark that I wanted a mark that actually has a lot of coverage so that way it can like, equal it out. So this is a variation of a few sets, specifically this one right here. This is a video that kind of like really inspired me to do it. And I really, really like it. The only thing that I would say is probably the chest piece is not that great. That being said, I think this is the only chest piece aside from the wolf kiss uh, chest piece as well that has a different shader or a shaderable fur i should say because the old um year one chest pieces from vanilla destiny 2 those don't change color unfortunately the same thing with one of the eververse ornaments doesn't change for like there's fur but it doesn't change the color of it so this was really just me showcasing the fur on the chest piece now, I could have gone another way where oh, I'm not using fur on the chest piece. I'm just showcasing it with the wolf kiss greaves because there is fur in there, but it's not enough to showcase it for me personally. That's why I didn't uh, just use another chest piece. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. I definitely think Ursa Furiosas are definitely viable. So this is a viable set in at least for me it is. So let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, we're going to be using a really weird shader that I almost never use, which is called Lunar Gloom. This is from uh, Shadow Keep, I think. Oh, this is a while ago. And the reason I'm using this is because A, it gives me a really good blue glow to go with the crystals on the arms, but it also has a good effect on the Thunder's impact as well because there is blue in there and I just think it looks good. So. Tekken's Regali Gauntlets is what we're using for this one with the Comet Stirring Dreams ornament for the, I was about to call it Fist of the North Star, bro. That is not what it's called. This is Curious of the Falling Star. Wow, that was funny. And <laughs> it kind of shows my age there. <laughs> but for the boots, we're going to be using the Nemean Strides or Greaves. I feel like these are just super dope, especially if you just like, I most of the time I just slap these on anything. And most of the time they just they're just gonna look dope because these boots are just super dope and then with the forian mark i always combine the forian mark with the nemean greaves usually just because i want the boots really to showcase their beauty and then the mark is just kind of like an afterthought not an afterthought but i don't want it to like get in the way of the boots because i think the boots are really cool so this one nothing too much to talk about this one i just think uh, a lot of these pieces look really really cool together the biggest thing is just the fact that you're combining lunar gloom with the Tekken's Regalia and the Thunder's Impact because there is blue in there, but not enough to like really be like, whoa. So that's why the Tekken's Regalia has the gemstones on the shoulder pads and the arms. 
and then the thunderous impact has blue in there as well so that way it doesn't look weird that the gemstones are blue when your helmet is blue and some pieces of your shader is also blue so really just to like even it all out the only negative i could really say is that the Tekken regali gauntlets have a white uh, cloth on the arms themselves i think that's the only negative i could really think about and at that point i would probably just switch out the arms for a completely black shader because it'll still look good because of the blue gemstones so that's kind of like where my thought process goes next one it's going to be the tekken regalia plate this one unfortunately it does look really really cool it's just my biggest gripe with it is the fact that and this is like a problem i have with pretty much every titan chess piece is the fact that i really like titans uh, specifically their chest piece to like cover the back of their neck i feel like uh like like the virtuous set i feel like that set is just how a titan should be because most of the time when you have a chest piece that bulky you look like a titan you look like you're about to defend the universe from like evil and when i see a titan with a small chest piece it just kind of looks uh, not like a titan to me it just looks really weird so definitely a missed opportunity for this one but for the helmet, we're going to be using Saint-14, uh, specifically just, just without any of the ornaments. I think just base look looks really cool. For the arms, Nightly Noir Gauntlets is really, really cool in combination with the Florian Greaves. And then Fanala's Iron Mark. This is kind of like how I'm imagining my knight to look. To be fair, I probably wouldn't be using my Tekken Regalia plate. I would probably be using some other chess piece, something that looks a little bit more bulky. Because... As how as as she looks right now, because my Titan is a female, she looks kind of under armored, I guess you would say. Uh, for the shader, sinking feeling was what I chose. I mean, to be fair, that I my shader choice could have been a little bit better, but it's just it's just the fact that me personally, if the Titan chest piece does not look big or bulky, then it just doesn't look good. And I don't mean like oh like I I want it to be good and bulky in a good way. Like specifically, if the back of my neck is covered and there's like some more armor in the back as well then it's gonna look really cool like the virtuous chest piece i think is a perfect representation of what a titan chest piece should be um i'll show you guys real quick what the virtuous piece is if it's called a virtuous piece at least in my head it's called a virtuous set but for me it's just big bulky chest pieces like that really just make me want to be like yeah i'm a titan main right there um so yeah let me know what you guys think and last but not least we're using the boots in probably my favorite set so this is pretty funny. I actually didn't realize that I used Tortured Ivy for all the classes, which at this point, I'm probably just going to make a Tortured Ivy video because I love this shader and it drops from Iron Banner. So definitely try to pick it up. But this is also pretty funny because I'm using a chess piece that's not like big. The Crest of Alfie Lupi is definitely not big. But the cool thing is I really like a lot of the pieces that I used for this. So for the helmet, we're going to be using the Nightly Noir Helm definitely love this helmet it's one of my favorite helmets in the game right now for the arms we're going to be using the trials arms specifically the atavastic idol gauntlets i do think this these arms look really really cool and they are and they are symmetrical so if you're looking for symmetrical pieces this is going to be a set you're going to be looking for for the chest piece uh obviously the crest of alpha lupi definitely super dope love this chest piece especially when i'm combining it with the Titans regalia set i think both of them look really really cool the only negative I can really say is that there is some there is there is color separation for the chest piece, which is very unfortunate because the arms and the boots have that like really deep, like rich red and the chest piece has the green. So I would probably just unfortunately change the chest piece to another one so that way I can retain that red. So that way it looks like it's all one set and not just like, oh, this is clearly an exotic because it's taken shader differently. And then for the mark, we're using the Test Allegiance mark. Definitely one of my favorite marks in the game. I like a lot of the pieces of this set. Again, unfortunately, the Christ of Alpha Lupa is just unfortunately a different shader, which at that point I would probably just switch it out. But other than that, I do think this, this set looks amazing and I probably will be doing a Tortured Ivy video now because this shader is just super fucking good. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. I really do uh, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all of the content support you guys have been showing me because my analytics have been blowing up granted i have been posting a lot more than i usually do but it wouldn't be it wouldn't mean anything if you guys weren't watching my content so really do appreciate it be safe and i'll see you guys later